Hi guys. Oh my god, I feel like I look so tiny. Okay. There, that's way better. Oh my god, it was like... I started and it was like, hi guys! Okay. What the fuck's up? Um... Yeah, we're chill. We're playing Breath of the Wild now after a very crazy stream yesterday. I don't know... That stream is gonna go down in the history books as my favorite stream ever. It was just so funny. Um, if you guys haven't seen the Dark Souls stream, um, because I'm going to be posting this on YouTube, the Dark Souls stream is available. Uh, not yet, but soon. Uh, but it's it was a crazy trip. I got stream sniped for the first time. At least I think I did. <laughs> Actually, the guy that was, like, following me around, he messaged me on PlayStation or something, and he was, like, revealing himself, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I, this is who I am, and I was like, okay. Um, it was just really funny. It was a goof and a gaff. And now I have way too many lives in Dark Souls. So that's really good. Um, <laughs> I kind of don't really know what to... Hmm. Kind of don't know what to, you know, explore. I think what we're going to try to do is go... What's this? Locked memory. Oh. I don't know what we're going to try to do. You know, I kind of want to just, like, explore. Wait, is this Hateno Village? No. What is that? Oh. Oh, it is Hateno Village. Okay, let's go to Hateno Village. Let's do that. It's a, a jump, skip, and a hop away. Oh, it's right fucking there. Okay. Because mm. then I'm thinking, you know, why don't we just explore... And do what we gotta do. Hateno Village has, um... What's it called? The, uh, super crazy armor, I think. So, we can go there. Um... Do our thing. I have to level up. Um, I have some shrine stuff, too. I don't know. So yeah, I guess people are debating if Dante is going to be in Smash. That's a thing. That's an update from when we last left off. Um, I don't know. I've actually never played Devil May Cry. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm not playing Dark Souls right now, so it's fine. <laughs> I was like... I was getting really nervous. I was like, oh no, I'm going to die. No, this isn't Dark Souls. We're fine. Dark Souls has now, like, officially traumatized me. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what Devil May Cry is about. I just know Dante kind of looks like a... Oh, shit. Should have rolled. Dante kind of just looks like a, um... Just a typical... Excuse me. <laughs> having hiccups. Just a typical gamer. That Dante. Farming hoe. Hmm. Useful. Come on, get up. This game is, like, this game is definitely, like, overwhelming, too. Um, 
Because a part of me really, really wants to 100% complete Breath of the Wild, but another part of me is like, hey, you know what? That's not really... That's not feasible at the moment. Hmm. That's okay. Like, I don't even know- like, look how fucking much shit there is. <laughs> the clouds are moving so fast and like... There's so much shit to explore. I mean, you can even just like, do the main quest. Which, which is okay, but like... I don't know. Part of me wants to explore and part of me just... Doesn't really want to explore? I don't even know. <sighs> uh, do I have an axe? I have a farming hoe. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can't chop that down with the farming hoe. He's a bomb. Still, steal these guys' wood. It's fine. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, Link, no, no. Okay, I thought that was a cliff. <laughs> I was like, no, don't do it. Okay. Oh man, my shrine sensor isn't gonna shut up. Hmm. I was like, is this my house? Link doesn't have a house yet. <sighs> okay. You know what game I've been playing recently is, um... <gasps> oh, sweet. Link's stealing arrows from these people. The game that I have been playing recently is Fantasy Life. And... Did she just call me a weirdo? She just called me a weirdo for, like, stepping on her boundaries like, in her lawn, and then she gave me an egg. Nice. Um, Fantasy Life, if you don't know what it is, it's like one of my favorite DS games. I don't know, something about it is just so nostalgic, and I mean, even though it's 3DS, it's not that nostalgic, I mean, whatever, but I just remember playing it so much with one of my old best friends, and, um, Unfortunately, we're not friends anymore, but, you know, I- whenever I play that game, I look back at, like, really fond memories of playing that game. Um, and basically what it is is, like, you ha- you ha- you have to choose a life. Um, so there's, like, different lives, and there's, like, different classes. There's, like, 12 different classes, and... You can choose whatever class you want, or you can choose every single class. So there's like fighting classes, which is like paladin, mercenary, hunter, um, hello, <laughs> this guy looks dapper, uh, and wizard. And then there's like... The collecting class, which is like lumbermen, <laughs> lumbermen, lumberwoman, I don't know. Lumberjack, I guess. Uh, miner, um, fisherman, um, there's one more. And then there's like, ma I don't know, there's 12 classes, I think. And then there's like a maker class, or maybe there's eight classes? I don't remember. But all the classes are so cute. And so me, as an intellectual, was like, why don't I just be every class? Because you can be every class. You know, there's no, there's no shade to that. Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay. You know what, that can be a goal, is to make enough money to buy that armor set. Um, I think that'd be fun. You know, I probably shouldn't have played Breath of the Wild 
um, this early. Oh, hi, Liam. I probably shouldn't have played Breath of the Wild this early because, I don't know, I'm kind of burnt out from Breath of the Wild. I feel like I, I play it all the time. Um, and if you guys watched the first part, you would know my tale that I was using the Breath of the Wild like interactive map from Zelda Dungeon and the whole dun or the whole map got like revamped and updated so I lost all my progress on it and I was trying to collect all the Koroks and I had like 300 and that wasn't that long ago that was probably like a couple weeks ago so I probably shouldn't have oh no I hate this one I just realized what this one was um yeah I probably shouldn't have played it so soon after but once I ooh, okay I heard that you could do this you could just flip it right feet no feet oh Oh, it's like playing basketball. Okay, wait. <laughs> or soccer. Did I do it? Oh my god. Strats. Liam, did you call me this morning, by the way? <laughs> Oh yeah, um, what's that, what's that car game called? Um, I don't know, wait, why did you call me by the way? I'm so out of it, I'm so tired. Yesterday's stream was so intense, so I'm just like, <laughs> This is definitely a calmer stream now. Did you call me to tell me the good news? Oh, you just wanted to say hi? Well, <laughs> Um, didn't you call me at like 7 a.m.? Did I hang up on you? I, I meant to answer it, but I think I accidentally pressed hang up. I don't know. Anyways, um, so what happened was I was playing Dark Souls, okay, and there were, oh, I called it 8.30. Oh, I don't know. Same thing. 7 a.m., 8.30, whatever. Um, I was playing Dark Souls and there was a lot of people here. And it was getting kind of intense. Um, I got stream sniped. Uh, <laughs> some guy gave me 60 humanity. That was kind of crazy. Um, I beat two bosses. Uh, it was pretty intense. I streamed for like 4 hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> it was like so exhausting. <laughs> But it was, like, so fun. It was exhausting in, like, the best way possible because I was literally laughing so hard. <laughs> so today, yeah, I saved the recording. It'll be on YouTube eventually, but, I mean, you can go watch my past broadcast so you can actually see the chat, too. I still don't know how to save the chat. Um, I hate this guy. This guy reminds me of you, Liam. And I mean that in the best way possible. Uh, who are you? That's me. <laughs> it is you. This guy, that guy that you just saw, by the way, he has like the best storyline. He, um, what the fuck? <laughs> this is you too. <laughs> He like built his own town from from uh, the ground up. That's actually what the the quest is called. Is the ground up, and <laughs> he has like you are everyone. You're everyone in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> huh. What are you doing? I'm knocking this place down. I'll buy this place. Can't help you. Ask the boss. 
So notice how his last three letters in his name is Sun. So there's Hudson, there's Bolson, and then there's uh, Carson. Oh, you mean, yeah, no, I wasn't asking you what you were doing, but I'm glad you're doing homework. <laughs> um, so, when he builds his new town, his policy is you have to find people in the world with the last three letters as sun. Pretty bundles of wood. Do I have that? That's pretty cool, Sin. <laughs> well, they just fucked up my home. I'm gonna take that. Okay. And that too. Because, guess what we gotta do now? We gotta go all around. We're gonna look. We're gonna look for fucking treasure. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go to this one first. <laughs> What's up, Joy? Sorry, I have like a bunch of like bull in my throat. Eleven? <laughs> oh, you cheered eleven bits. I, I was wondering what the fuck was going on. What does that even mean? I was like, why is that face moving? <laughs> Hi, Joy. Every time you come, Joy, you you donate bits, so it's really funny. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. So right now, I'm gonna look for, um, like these. Just trying to sort. Choosing all the random bits. Yep. Thank you for supporting my stream. It means a lot, Joy. <laughs> um, I think my favorite thing to do in Breath of the Wild is um, fall from a really high place and just like whip out. <laughs> uh oh, there's the 100 bits I was looking for, Liam. <laughs> Um, is to, like, jump from a really high place and then, like, not die. Oh, no. <gasps> Are my Joy-Cons finally broken? Oh, wait, here we go. They're still, they're still working, okay. <laughs> my Joy-Cons are breaking and it's annoying. How much is that? What the hell is the point of bits? I don't really, like, understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, is 11 bits 11 cents? And then, like, 100 bits, like, a dollar or something? I can fix them for you if you want. Hi, gal. What does that mean? Oh, you know what? I think it's over here, actually. They're like tips. Gotta find the conversation, though. I, what? I looked up once. They're not that complicated inside the joy gun. Oh, you mean... Oh, okay. I think what it is is that there's like a piece of styrofoam that they put in here that's like in front of the antenna. So when you go and like ask Nintendo to fix it it's like they have to take it apart and basically take out the styrofoam I mean my joy-con's broken so if you like fuck up my joy-con I need to get a new one anyway so you know whatever floats your goat
they probably do that for warranty no they did it because they had a bunch of controversy that their joy cons were like super out of sync i never had that out of sync problem i mean a little bit but it wasn't like to the point where it was super annoying and now it's to the point of being super fucking annoying so you know Styrofoam. <laughs> Alt four to climb faster. Okay, let me just press my keyboard buttons on my Joy-Con. Mm. What is that over there? I'm on the hunt. Mm, I think this is a boss. Okay. That's my favorite thing to do, <laughs> is drop from a really high place. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay. Uh. Shit. Senior. Whoa. <laughs> that amber like flew. <laughs> okay. Yes, we killed the puppy and it was very sad. Um, I probably shouldn't just say that without context. We killed the Dark Souls boss that was a doggo. Very sad. Well, the part that handles the actual joystick is fairly cheap for Nintendo, so that has to be a real weak point. Yeah. I mean, the Joy-Cons are like $80. Like, I, I never understood that. I get that Nintendo was, like, almost going into bankruptcy, but, like... <laughs> I killed the puppy on stream. <laughs> There's video evidence. I'm not confessing. It's literally there. It's on video. Um, okay. Yeah, this is my goal right now is to get some cash months. Okay. You know what it is? I think it's because I. I've been talking too much. Ugh. I've been talking too much, and it's kind of like I have so much, like, <laughs> my throat's trying to, like, heal itself. I don't know. Joy-Cons are priced out, out, outlandishly. I fucking agree. Like, why is it $80? Do you have some water? Yeah, I do. Um. I don't know. I, I just have this thing... <laughs> My my neck is all fucked up, and I think I need to, like, get my neck checked out. Local woman murders dogs on stream. Listen, I wouldn't be the first. Isn't there that one Twitch streamer that, like, abused her dog on stream and then got in trouble, and then she was, like, crying, trying to be like, I'm the victim. I'm just joking. I would never hurt my dog. <laughs> I'm like, <clears throat> shit, people are so fucking dumb. Uh, local gamer liberates men from dog-based operations. <laughs> yep. That's the story of my life. Oh, by the way, I've posted a fucking TikTok. Um, and I haven't checked on it yet. I want to see if I got TikTok famous yet. You make my dick hard. Okay. <laughs> I thought your name was Gulag Snake for a second. I could check it. Let me see. I have to, like... 
I've banned TikTok from myself because God damn it. See how Link's moving on its own? His own? Blah. Listen, Snake, you need to chill. He's just expressing his concerns. <laughs> Do 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 do. All right, here we go. It's box time. Oh. Is this love at first sight? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I don't actually exist. <laughs> and I am a figment of your imagination. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, shoot. I think my stream is all, like, laggy right now. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> I can just smell a fucking Korok here. I can sense their presence. <laughs> I'm about to white knight hard. <laughs> Listen, I think... Do you poop every day? Just curious. Uh, well, no. I feel like I should poop a little more, though, because, I don't know, maybe that'd be good for my digestive system. <laughs> I don't care. Listen. Gulu Snake gets a prize, okay, for being the first... I'm super new to Twitch. So he's the first person to... <laughs> Do you want more poop stories? He's the first person to actually, like, come in here and try to, like, troll and crap. Yeah, he's the first person to have, uh, whatever you just said. <laughs> I don't need another sledgehammer. Never mind. This isn't the market Kelly should enter. <laughs> Do you want me to show my feet on stream? Let me know. Listen. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> feet! <laughs> I'm like so loopy because I'm really tired. But here's the thing. There are plenty, there are plenty of titty streamers out in the sea that will ban you for voicing your concerns. <laughs> I have a fart fetish. <laughs> I know, he's like my first troll and I'm really excited about that. But this, you know, gamers are the most oppressed race, you know? And... Uh, <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This channel isn't about feet. I'm sorry. <laughs> but gamers are a very oppressed race. So if they want to voice their concerns about fetishes, ask me how much I poop, that's okay. <laughs> but when it gets to the weird territory... <laughs> just trying to make friends here. Yeah, see? See, he's chill. He's just a gulag snake. That's all he is. Local streamer becomes communist leader. More. <laughs> I, I recognize the concerns of the people. Okay, that's why you should vote for me for president. I don't get up in arms. Okay, I, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm like so fucking tired. Breath of the Wild makes me want to like fall asleep. <laughs> Did you say, COMMUNISM? 
Yeah. I don't know. I I'm just looking for some Zelda to watch while I play my game here. What are you playing? <laughs> what what line do you cross? Mm. Uh when you say the N word, then I cross the line. Then I'm like, no. <laughs> What isn't okay? I don't know. I don't really give a shit, you know? <laughs> like, I've already have- people have already asked me, like, what size my boobs are or whatever. <laughs> what the n-word? Final Fantasy? Are you playing 7? Um, oh, guys, did you fucking hear about Final Fantasy 7 is delayed again? I feel like that game's never gonna come out. <laughs> And I'm so sad. 14? Oh, I have Final Fantasy 14. I actually bought Final Fantasy 14 very recently. Um, because me and my friend wanted to try it. Wait, what was my goal? What was I doing? Um, mm, I think I was gonna go look for... Okay, wait, let me go over here. I think I was gonna look for, like, stones or something. 7 is gonna be gonna disappoint harder than I do my parents. <laughs> no, I have a feeling right, because Breath of the Wild was delayed, like, a full- I don't even know how long it was delayed. And Final Fantasy VII, ha how much has it been delayed? Like, seven times? <laughs> Get it? Final Fantasy VII, seven times? Um, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be- Okay, like maybe they're just like changing things, you know? Have you done memories? I love seeing my girl. Mm, I could do memories. I don't even think I have... I like just started the game. I don't even think I have the camera yet. Where are you from? Zelda has a nice ass. Everyone loves Zelda's ass. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I look at it and I'm like, all right, that's, you know, that's where she poops from, I guess, so. Fashion Souls, but in Zelda. I rocked Fashion Souls yesterday. <laughs> I, um... <gasps> Wait, what's that over there? How do I turn it? Oh, that's the jungle. Oh my god, I think that's where the... Um, Triforce of Power is. Her posterior is quite bodacious. <laughs> Twilight Princess Zelda is the best to me. I actually beat Twilight Princess for the first time not too long ago. I love Twilight Princess, seriously. Um, but I think... Like, if we're talking about the best Zelda game I've ever played, I think that crown goes to Breath of the Wild because of just how fun this game is. Um, but if we're talking, like, the best traditional Zelda game, like, I would say Wind Waker, for sure. With my pointy... <laughs> with my pointy hat costume? No, we're not gonna talk about my pointy hat costume. I love her resting bitch face. I know. <laughs> A Link to the Past is my fave. I... Link to the Past, I can't fucking beat that game. It's so hard. I don't know, maybe I'm just like an incompetent gamer girl. <laughs> I just can't do it. Am I doing that right? Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I wanna look for Koroks too. Why are all your emotes, like, pens? <gasps> hey, there's a shrine over there. Oh, I don't want to go to a new place yet. Okay. Zelda 2 is hard? Yeah, I agree. It is hard. Um, I don't know. I'm not very good with platformers. So I think that's why I have such a difficulty with um, Zelda 2 and, like, Mario 2. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> okay. Do you guys know where the Korok mask is? Like, for the DLC? Yeah, show up, show your emotes. Mm. Mm. These are my favorite emotes. Um. <laughs> Let me see. My favorite Twitch streamer is Avoiding the Puddle. And I love his emotes. <laughs> oh, are those your emotes? Those are so cute. <laughs> Zelda's so cute in those. You know what? I don't think I've been... Have I been over here? Oh, I could do Hero's Path. Oh, see? I love Hero's Path because you can just, like, you know, see where you've been in the past. Mm. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to go over here. Go explore. Figure out what's going on. Good afternoon. Instagram? Whoa, it's kind of pushy. <laughs> it's like if someone came up to you on the street. Hello, Instagram. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I think it's down below if you want to look at it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob Vance. Vance refri Refrigeration. <laughs> oh my gosh. We should watch, um... Liam, when you come over next, we should watch fucking The Office. I love The Office. My hero's path in my first playthrough was several big circles. <laughs> yeah, mine was always, like, following the path, too. Oh, shit. Okay, someone's behind me. Oh my god. Oh, I don't... Do I not have a shield? Oh, God. Now I have the poop shield. Great. <sighs> hmm. The office is so good. I... I love The Office, too. Um, I just like Jim and Pam. I think they're so sweet. I... Sometimes I feel like it's kind of you know, overhyped. <laughs> like, I don't get people that watch it, like, ten times in a row, like, every single episode. Um. But it's, it's fucking funny, though. I've been banned to the couch for my transgressions. <laughs> I'm no longer allowed. It's because you snore, okay? Sorry. <laughs> What's up on Scouts Hill? <gasps> Is there a memory here? Damn. I can't see the mini map on my TV, so I have to look. Um, I have to look over here. I just took a massive shit. How big was it? Go get a measuring stick. Goo's kind of a quirky girl. <laughs> Last year I did a stream of this game trying to follow the path. I think Link and Zelda took before the calamity. Damn. Is it... Is it possible that... Like... So, if you start at one edge of the map and you walk all the way to the other corner, doesn't it take like 45 minutes or something? That's fucking crazy, dude. I feel like that's way too much. <laughs> I also... One of my biggest gripes with this game, though, is just, like, how... There's a lot to do, yes, but I feel like... I don't know. Sometimes finding Koroks isn't, like... I mean, finding... Listen, finding Koroks is great. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes... You know...
Like, I feel like I kind of want more, you know, like more stuff. So I'm really excited for Breath of the Wild 2 to see what they're going to do with it. Um, and, you know, I just hope they put a little bit more stuff for sure. Um, like, you know what I want? Fucking Hyrule in the heyday. That's what I want. Um, like, not Hyrule destroyed. Like, Hyrule fucking in the baby boomer generation. <laughs> Why doesn't Link just take a Lincoln Town car like the 2019 All-American Classic commercial featuring Matthew McConaughey? I don't know. Link's not a fellow intellectual like us. Oh my gosh, guys. Ugh, wait, where's my water? Okay. I feel like I need to like chug water. Mm. Because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little loopy from yesterday's stream. <laughs> yesterday's stream was like so intense for me. <laughs> Drinking noises. Hmm. This could be like an ASMR drinking stream. <laughs> Isn't there a cheat over here where you can see Link like pre-rendered or something? Hold on. I've actually always wanted to test this theory. Open wide for the splash zone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I made it. Um, it's not here. It's on the other side. By the way, was it- No, Link, stop moving. Okay, Joy-Con's broken. Uh, was it this game where Link can go to the toilet? Or was it- That's Skyward Sword. <laughs> Legendary game. I should have played Skyward Sword first. I think that would have been... Um, I don't know. Oh. Dude, I want one of those things where <laughs> it'll make your voice really echoey. Um, like a voice modifier or something. I <laughs> think that'd be really funny. <laughs> like Vinny, he does that all the time. Okay, let's see. Hi, Infamy, what's up? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Okay. Oh, hold on. See? Look at Link. This is Link. Like. Uh, what's it called? It's like the the outer, the finishing layer. Oh my god, he looks so fucking weird. It's just his 3D model, like, not even, like, lit up. He does look like a toy. It kind of looks like they blasted him with, like, um... <laughs> it's like, that's, that's, like, normal Link. It's like Skyrim Link, and then they blasted him with, um... What's that called? Like, Bloom? <laughs> okay. Dude, Wind Waker... Um, the Wind Waker remake had so much Bloom that I wanted to, like, <laughs> gouge my eyes out. The Bloom was so much. I feel like that's the Nintendo polish. It's just Bloom. <laughs> so much Bloom. Hey, there's another thing over there. <clears throat> I'm really bad at exploring. I feel like I get so distracted. <laughs> okay. Wait, let me use... 
Um, this way. Come here, bitch. Oh. <laughs> I thought he would die, but then I remembered that he was a fish, so I think he'll be fine. That was kind of rude. I feel like they're just trying to fucking, you know, be homies. They're not trying to do anything bad. Listen, if you did fall from that height... Wait, what was that? If you fell from that height... Um... Yes. You... You will die. <laughs> It'll be like hitting cement. Zora Spear. Oh god. These guys are my least favorite. Because they just go so fast. It's like, slow the fuck down, just shut up. Okay. Lizal boomerang. <laughs> I smell a Korok over here. Part of the DLC had the Korok mask, which I used all the time in my other playthrough, but... I don't know. <gasps> See? I told you. He's right up here with the, um, what are those, uh, <gasps> oh shit. I don't know if you guys can hear this dog screaming outside, but look at this. I just started the game. Oh shoot, you reminded me. I have to go upgrade my shit. Phoebe, come here. Come here, girl. Here, come say hi. Come here. She's not getting up. Here, this is my dog. Whew. Hold on. That's my dog. Right there. Oh <gasps> wait! Oh my God! Is the fucking dragon here? Oh shit! Okay. Oh my God! He's right there. Oh shit! Wait! I don't want to light him on fire. Okay, <laughs> I was like, I was about to fucking call 911 because I was going to be so fucking angry. Oh my god, is this a Korok? Ugh. Oh shoot. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay. <laughs> where does scale go? Did you guys see where his scale went? I think it went to the... Oh man, okay. Hmm... You know, I shouldn't be fucking around over here. I think I should just... Um... I think I should just look for shrines. Okay, there it is. Oh my god, how- <laughs> How is Link doing this? This doesn't really seem possible. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Gotta get all these. And this one too. And then we'll be good to go. Oop. 
All right, man, I wish I had fucking Zora armor. It's so painful to start this game from the beginning after you like get all the equipment and stuff. <laughs> Oops. This game is like hard mode if your Joy Cons are fucking stupid. Okay, here we go. No, okay. Hell yeah. Mm, don't I need the scales to uh, get to sh certain shrines or something? Mm. I don't know. <sighs> Should I get that? Mm, fuck it. Okay, hold on. Before I get that. No, I should just fucking get it. I'm right here. Okay. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Never mind. These skeleton guys are my least favorite in the game because they're so fucking annoying. <sighs> it's like the skeletons that come out in Ocarina of Time. It's like, go away, dude. <laughs> Is this like an enemy base or something? Oh shit. Okay. Listen, this can be Pokemon Snap if you really think about it. Um, if I get the camera and start taking pictures of everything. <laughs> Did I? Am I dead? What even happened? Did his weapon, like, fall on me or something? I think this game really added a lot with the camera because, you know, like I said, there wasn't really, like, that much to do besides collecting Koroks, <laughs> excuse me, and, like, looking for shrines. But with the, um... With the camera, it just added so much just like taking pictures of things and collecting your, um, filling your Wikipedia or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> um, it just added so much more fun to it, you know? Yeah, you know, I really need to, like, focus on upgrading my shit before I can really start wandering around. But I guess you can't really upgrade your shit unless you wander around, so I don't really know. Well, the camera in Wind Waker was just kind of, like, pointless, because, <laughs> I mean, it was fun doing those side quests, but at the same time, you really felt, like, mm, no will to do it <laughs> at all. I did like the one where you had to take a picture of the girls talking shit. That was kind of funny. I mean, listen, that Dark Souls stream was the most fun I've ever had, <laughs> but now Breath of the Wild is just, oh, 
where I chill out, you know? I like it when Link deep throats apples. I think it's really, really great that Nintendo added that feature. Okay. That's actually something I've been really into recently is eating apples. Because <laughs> there's so many different kinds of apples if you really look at the grand scheme of things. So you have to find the apple that really suits with your soul, you know? And I think I had like a bad apple and then I didn't eat apples for a really long time. <laughs> Just one of my famous quotes to take with me to the grave. Uh, <laughs> you know, so my favorite apples are Honeycrisp apples. Because since I live in Washington, um, you know, Eastern Washington is really famous for apples. Um, I think it's like the state fruit or something. I don't remember. Um, so we got some hella good apples here. And the Honeycrisp apples are like directly from Chelan, which is like where there's a huge orchard farm or whatever. Are you a brony? <laughs> you know, I actually... Can I... Can I say something kind of controversial? <laughs> and it's not at all. I actually love... <laughs> the Friendship is Magic show. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Con wee -oo, wee -oo, controversy coming. No, I... I remember watching My Little Pony Friendship is Magic just, like, out of boredom. Because I was like... It was before the, like, brony culture. It was before all that. It was, like, right when the show was brand new. I... I was... Oh my god, you guys just reminded me of this really fucking crazy memory I didn't even think of for a really long time. But I recently lost like all my friends it was on my 19th birthday so it was like a while ago and i was just like really depressed um because i lost like nine friends i've actually talked about this before when i um played kingdom hearts 3 but um it was just a really traumatizing day and so i was like uh you know why don't i just like like watch like a baby show and like because watching baby shows makes me laugh so i was like whatever let me just watch this and i watched it and i actually genuinely really liked it <laughs> it was just really soothing i don't know and the colors were fun because i was a really big my little pony fan when i was a, a kid and i used to collect them and um pinkie pie was my favorite <laughs> i had like so many pinkie pie like dolls and stuff or whatever horses i don't know um so when i watched it that day i was like oh man like i'm so glad that they are like reviving it and like you know honoring it <laughs> is that controversial i don't know it's a cute show i think it's so cute <laughs> So that's why, like, I understand the, um, the brony culture, I guess, because I could see the appeal, because it just was such a cute fucking show. <laughs> yeah, it's just a chill, cute show. I don't know. And th there's people out there that are like, mm, the bronies are trying to prey on girls and i'm like what the fuck are you even talking about dude <laughs> um it's just kind of weird i don't get why people it's just it's just a fandom i guess what show is this uh the my little pony friendship is magic show or whatever um you know the one that started all the brony culture <laughs> that show 
I actually watched a really big documentary on bronies because I was very curious. Um, and that documentary series made me uh, have like an appreciation for... Because it's just, you know, these kids, they... <laughs> They're coming out of the woodwork. Look, it's the same it's the same for any fan base, right? There's always going to be people that are just kind of like, you know, but with that, I feel like that whole fandom just exists because you know, just with any fandom, it's like it's these people that were outcasted and felt like they didn't belong anywhere and then they finally found this group and they're all like so sweet and so supportive and it's just really cute i don't know <laughs> it's just so cute but yes there are some that are weird just like the undertale fan base and just like any fan base let us weebs not be blinded by our current anime renaissance <laughs> There's kind of like an anime renaissance going on, right? We were once the target of hate by normies. Praise the thick. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, I felt the same way. I was super into electronic music. Um, I still am. I don't know why I said that in past tense. I really like dubstep. Um... And I used to get made fun of all the time for the music I listened to. Like, oh, you don't listen to pop culture music? Fuck you. Bleh. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I always just tell people if they want to know, like, my taste in music, I just always say, oh, yeah, it's, I have a shitty taste in music. <laughs> and then I tell them that it's dubstep, and they're like, um, they're like, what? Really? Oh, that's not shitty. And I was like, what? Because now... It's so popular to go to raves and shit that now it's the fucking jam. I don't know. <laughs> um, I actually, I used to like Dead Mouse, and I actually don't really like Dead Mouse anymore. So thanks for speaking for me, Liam. <laughs> um, I like sounds that are a little bit more bassy. What's the point of that? Oh, I see. <laughs> Sorry, Liam. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. I don't know why I just stood there like an idiot. Okay. So the new Gorillaz album. Um... Oh, sorry, I haven't updated my lexicon. <laughs> I know. Wait, let me, oh, fuck, where the hell's my phone? Oh, let me just see the new Gorillaz album, because I forgot the, uh, oh, like, Fireflies. Fireflies has that really deep bass to it. I love that kind of sound. Um, and, uh, hold on. <laughs> I really like humans, too. A lot of people didn't like humans, but I thought humans was amazing. I don't know. Wait, what? Hold on. What was the other album called? I forgot. Artists. Gorillas. There we go. Oh, The Now Now. That's what it was called. Yeah. <laughs> um like my favorite songs are ones where it's like it's this I don't know how to describe it it's like this really deep bass but it's you know there has to be a Jamaican guy there has to be a Jamaican guy for sure and he's rapping about shit and then like classical Classical dubstep is my favorite. <laughs> Plastic Beach is fucking awesome. I love Plastic Beach. I don't know. I love I love all Gorilla's stuff. Like 
people go like, oh, Plastic Beach is the worst, or Humans is the worst. And it's like, no, they're all amazing. What the fuck? <laughs> they just change their sound all the time. And I think that's really cool. Saturn bars. Mm-hmm. Is fucking awesome. I love Saturn bars. See, they had a Jamaican guy in there. They know what's up. Oops. My least favorite gorilla song is, um, how do I knock this down? Oh, I know, I know, okay. Um, what's that one? I skip it every time I hear it. It's like, oh, okay. This is normal. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Glitter Freeze. Glitter Freeze. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's on Plastic Beach. Um. Yeah. Oh, fuck Glitter Freeze. Fuck Glitter Freeze. I hate Glitter Freeze. Anytime I hear the first two fucking seconds of the song and it goes, Where's North from here? I want to fucking skip it immediately. I hate that song so much. I don't know why. Where's North from here? I'm like, fucking get Google Maps and figure it out yourself, dumbass. <laughs> Does anyone like Glitter Freeze? Is there a single person that likes Glitter Freeze? I must know. I need to find them and exterminate them. Do you guys dare me to drive all the way to her house to blast and blast Glitter Freeze? <laughs> I feel like you've done that before. The fall had some bad, yeah. I think the fall probably was their weakest one because they had a falling out. Wasn't that at the time that the gorillas had a falling out? Um. It was made on an iPad? Really? I didn't know that. Damn. I mean, that's when Damon and the artist split, right? Damon made that album on tour. Damn. On GarageBand. <laughs> but We Happy Few is fucking amazing, though. <laughs> Just clown noises. Um, and I don't know. I like, I like songs from The Fall, too. Revolving Door is fucking beautiful. We Happy Few is hella funny. Is that from the fall? I don't remember. Um, what's another one? I couldn't get into Amarillo or Aspen Forest. I can't get into those. I don't know why. <laughs> it's this weird phenomena that I just can't get into it. And the thing with Gorilla Song is you have to listen to it multiple times in order to like it. You you will never like a Gorilla Song the first time you hear it. <laughs> well, I was hella depressed in 2019, so maybe I should have listened to it then. <laughs> now I'm not. Uh, what do you got? Oh shoot, I was supposed to be saving up for armor. <laughs> Hillbilly Man. That's another one, right? <laughs> I feel like Gorillaz is only exclusively sad music though, except for Feel Good. <laughs> um. Awful Song? You don't like it? 
I just the intro makes me want to like fall asleep and then all of a sudden it turns into this weird ass song. <laughs> Oh, okay. I need 3,000 rupees. It's the one that's. it starts with a really soft guitar and it's like, drive away and see the lonesome sounds. That song? Uh, shoot. Let me go look for some more, um,. mining stuff yeah it's all right i just like the intro <laughs> and then when it gets to the weird part it's like okay <laughs> do your thing i wonder if um I wonder if the Breath of the Wild interactive map has, like, where mining deposits are. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. Blech. Oh man, I hope I don't start having, like, a sneezing fit. <laughs> oh hey, it's not updated on mine! What the fuck? <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have a sneezing fit. I can just feel it coming. I'm gonna have a big blast. Bye, gal. Bye. Wait, hi, Kelly. Guess what? What? <laughs> Chicken butt? God bless my soul. I got 100% on my Calc and CS quiz. <gasps> Liam! I don't know why you were so worried. That's awesome. You know, I still have your equation up on my whiteboard. <laughs> oh shoot, I might have to go blow my nose. Did you go celebrate with pizza? Ooh, I'm gonna make pizza later today. That sounds like a fucking plan. <gasps> Korok. No, but I'm gonna. At Tallarico's. Have I been to Tallarico's before? I think I have. Where is Tallarico's? Oh my god. Okay. That didn't give me fucking anything. Oh, there's more. On California? Oh shit. Okay. I think I've been there then. I got good aim, man. Mm. I just gotta keep fucking going. <laughs> Is it snowing right now? Dude, it's been like crazy weather. It was like 26 degrees outside when I went outside. And that's really cold for me. Like I felt like my eyes were going to freeze. I was very concerned for my health. <laughs> what is that over there? Oh, shoot. Excuse me. Okay. Mm. I feel like I should go over there. <laughs> Is 
Because I think that's one of those rock monsters, right? Okay, let me see. Um... No, there's nothing over there. <gasps> Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. Here I go. Hell yeah. I think these are luminous. Oh, maybe not. There they are. Oh god. Okay. Wait. Give me a sec. No oh, shit. <laughs> Don't worry guys, this isn't Dark Souls, so there's no consequences. <laughs> want to know my future with Dark Souls. I don't even want to know what's up ahead. I'm so... I love Dark Souls and I'm so scared of Dark Souls at the same time. And I, it's this weird... It's this weird love-hate relationship. It's kind of like how Dakota said, you know, treat Dark Souls like you're in a full-blown relationship. Sometimes the relationship has its ups and downs. And, you know, it starts kicking your ass. And you're like, damn, how do I even fucking do this, you know? You just gotta find a way to navigate. It's like a very toxic relationship, Dark Souls. Oh, there's one. I should probably just be doing the main quest right now. Hold on. Come on, Link. Link, you can walk up this. It's not the greatest deal in the world. Okay, whatever. Dude, someday my ultimate goal is to get a 3DS and mod it. Um, but if I mod my 3DS, it would take like, I think like $200 and like a month to mod it or something. Mm, I kind of don't want to do that. But I do want to do that at the same time. If I could play DS games on my... On stream, I would fucking freak out. Or 3DS stream, sorry. Is there... I should probably be looking this up. If there's like a place that I could go to like grind for stones or whatever. Hmm. Honestly, when I fought Ganon, he was pretty easy. So I don't think I could go too crazy in this game.
Like, fighting that Thunder Boss was the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. So I think fighting Ganon will be a little more tolerable. Here's some shit. Nice. Nice you. Calamity Ganon disappointed me too. I was like, what the fuck? I was expecting this like crazy ass fight. Like the the boss that you fought when you were saving Urbosa or whatever. That was the craziest boss fight ever. It just was so crazy. <laughs> Gotta be careful with these because they could go in the water. You don't want to lose precious money. Shit. No, it all went in the water. <laughs> oh, I can pick it up. It's fine. Okay. What's that one, um, that one video? It's like, I don't need friends. They disappoint me. That was Ganon. All right, enough fucking around. Let's go to Hateno Village. Let's go get the camera. Do some memories. Whatever. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Oh my god. There's a lot of controversy going on on my Twitter feed right now. I just shouldn't even look. It's like, ugh. It's kind of like watching a bad... Oh, hey, what's up? I usually stream at this time, but... Yesterday's stream was a little earlier. Um... Or a little later, I mean, because uh, I was I was trying to see like what kind of crowd I could attract if I streamed a little later, and this one is just a very tired Kelly stream. <laughs> I want to die. I only care about one armor piece being a certain way. And that's this stuff. Because I hate the way it looks. And I want to change the color to black. Hell yeah. I really don't like the triangles on these, but it's okay. Okay, how much wood do I have? That's a good question. 
have 22 wood. You know, I haven't really... I feel like Markiplier kind of like disappeared from the face of the earth for a sec there. Oh, I, oh, I don't think I could chop this tree down actually. <laughs> and then now he's, now I see him like everywhere. Does he do Twitch now? Marco, I love Markiplier. He's a good kid, that Markiplier. <laughs> um, and Jacksepticeye too. You know, they're they're both very humble and like. And I really like them. Even PewDiePie is super humble too. I mean, it's just crazy. I I guess he's just. I guess he's on Twitch now. I think a lot of YouTubers are starting to make that switch to Twitch. <laughs> that rhymes. Um, where the fuck is the goddess statue? Do you guys know? Uh, but yeah, it's just YouTube is like, I think it's going downhill. Um, it will never die, but you know, YouTube has a certain audience it wants to promote and you know that's not really the audience I jive with and it's okay uh, well oh here it is is it didn't Facebook live uh, weren't they used for like court cases or some shit <laughs> I feel like every time I see Facebook live stuff it's always like for like a court related case or something <laughs> Or like, like shoot, like a sh like shooting someone in the head. I don't know. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? His fan base is very loving towards him. Yeah. Well, you know, every fan base is, can get weird. Um, because they look, they look at you know YouTubers and big people as like gods um and that's where a lot of youtubers have this problem with like ego uh because most you know youtube comments and fandoms are very positive uh so yeah they're not, they're not gods i'm sorry i hate to break it to you uh so i feel like that's why Markiplier and Jacksepticeye are so great, because they don't let all this, like, you know... It's like, they're still regular people, you know? It's just so weird. <laughs> I don't understand the... You know, I, I used to look at, um, a, a YouTuber as a god, uh, and I recently saw some things that I didn't like and it just was this big wake-up call that's like hey they're regular people and they fuck up uh and sometimes they fuck up so much that their egos are so big and you know <laughs> and then they don't they don't like think about what they did and then they don't whatever no, me on the other hand, I am a gamer girl goddess. <laughs> um, what, for Facebook? Were they gonna have, like, Facebook gaming or some shit? That's so weird. I feel like we live in such a very strange time because, you know, you see all these very young people getting very popular and successful hello welcome <laughs> and it's kind of like watching high school like high schoolers just like be really popular and have really bad egos it's like so strange <laughs> like sometimes when i go on tiktok i feel like i don't belong because it's just so 
you know, it's weird. Because <laughs> everybody has, like, this ego problem now. You know who has the biggest ego problem? Yeah, we're all boomers here. <laughs> you know who has the biggest ego problem on YouTube? Well, one of the biggest ego problems is, uh, fucking Lily Singh, dude. She's got a massive ego problem. <laughs> and I feel so bad for her because she's finally starting to, like, with her Tonight Show, she's finally starting to see, you know, the negative. Because YouTube is so positive, especially for her. Um, and you rarely see negativity and people nowadays are seeing negativity as like this really bad thing when I look at it as like, oh, it's, it's criticism, you know, obviously telling someone that they suck and their PP too small is fucking stupid. And that's not criticism. But if you look at the other side and people are trying to be like, Hey, I, I, you know, when, you, when you're getting, like, thousands of people being like, hey, I don't like it when you do this, or, you know, maybe try to change it up and give suggestions, it's like, they're seen as, not, like, haters? I don't know. It's, ugh, I don't know. People are so weird. No, it depends, right? So I'm talking about people with really big fandoms, like Markiplier and... Not PewDiePie, because PewDiePie gets a lot of hate, but Lily Singh and, uh, who else has really crazy fans? I don't know. Well, yeah, I did get bit by a lot of negativity when I first started, and it really sucked, but, um... Now I look at, I look back on it. I needed to learn that because now I look back on it and I'm like, oh, it's just whatever. <laughs> yeah, I got called a cunt. It's not really, like, that's just weird. <laughs> it's not, I, I, I don't know why I took it so personally. I think it's because I was so new and I didn't really understand. And I was putting myself out there and I was getting really nervous. Um, oh, thanks for three bits. That's cute. <laughs> uh, you know, it just was, uh, not good. Everyone is an expert. I mean, no wonder why people have anxiety and shit. Because all these people are always telling everybody what to do. But not in, like, a criticism way. I actually received a lot of criticism, too. And I was reading all the criticism, and I... You know, I, I did all of what people were suggesting. Like, oh, you should do this with your thumbnails. Or, you know, this will be good. Or this and that. And I really appreciated those, you know. And um, I took it to heart and I changed whatever I needed to change. And now I like my channel a lot. Um, Actually, people told me to do Twitch, too, and it was just like, you seem really unhappy on YouTube, and you should go to, go to Twitch. And at first, I was really scared because, you know, with YouTube, I felt more comfortable because, it, you know, I, I wasn't being put out of my comfort zone. I was more comfortable there and whatever, and then with Twitch, it's like, oh, I'm in front of, like, oh, shit. <laughs> do I have to wait for it to stop raining? Ugh, whatever. Well, now I can just, like, talk to you guys for a second while I wait for this shit. Um, but now I'm, like, in front of, like, people. But I've recently realized that it's, you know, chill and you're fine. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Pe well, people on the internet can be kind of brutal with it. But I, I look at it as, like... I see what they're saying. They're just frustrated because they're trying to, like a really good example, <laughs> really good example is, um, Game Grumps receive a lot of criticism and, uh, 
I used to look at it as like, oh, it's it's coming across really intense. But now I look at it as like, you know, it's these people that they're so sad because they're seeing all this all this change and da 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 and they just want the show to be as good as possible and they're sad that they fell out of love with it and they're just frustrated and they're projecting it into these like criticisms, you know? Um That's why it's like I don't know. It seems like a kind of I just <laughs> this is this is too complicated for me to talk about with my brain right now. I feel like I'm really tired. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I think if the Game Crumbs just stopped, <laughs> just stop, take a step back and stop because they're not having fun. They have literally 57 employees. You don't need that. Just fire everyone. You don't need that. Okay. Maybe with like, you know, the touring company, that's, that's whatever and whatever. Take a step back breathe and have fun again i don't know i feel like they're not, they're not having fun they're overworked they're so stressed out their fans are fucking crazy oh yeah they can't even say crazy on stream or whatever they're doing because i guess a fan got like insulted by saying the word crazy and now they can't say crazy anymore and i'm like you know what dude just be yourself. Trying to like, trying to make everyone happy, that's impossible. You can't do that. If people don't like what I do, then they could just, whatever. They could just go watch something else. <laughs> There's so many other people out there to fit whatever, you know, whatever you jive with. Oh, they have to say that's bananas. I haven't watched Game Grumps in like three years now or something. <laughs> Navigating a minefield makes it hard to be creative or entertaining. Exactly. And I feel like that's where all the stress is coming from. Having all these employees around you, trying to cater to like everyone. It's just, dude, just cater to yourself, you know? That's my policy. That's my big policy is if I'm streaming or doing YouTube or whatever, I just want to be myself. If people tell me I'm not entertaining enough, whatever, go watch someone else. Because I hate saying this phrase, but like I have no other phrase to say this with. At the end of the day, uh, I'm doing this for me. Yeah, building a community of people is fun, and I love that, and I love talking to you guys. But I gotta have fun too, you know? Oh yeah, that's back in the day when I was trying to build an audience by commenting on videos. It's so embarrassing, but uh, it worked, I guess. <laughs> I stopped though, because um, it was getting a little too much. Um, but yeah, uh... I want to get these apples. Hell yeah. It just got so sunny all of a sudden. Oh my god. I think them... Uh, geez, it got really sunny all of a sudden. Oh my god. That's so bright. Um, them and a bunch of other YouTubers, I feel like they're so scared to start from... From the bottom again or something like when you're changing up your style it's very it's very nerve-wracking because you, you you feel like you're gonna lose your whole audience <laughs> excuse me I'd like to um, make sure I'm like supporting someone who's open to like my existence stance on trans people and lgbtq people sorry if this is a hassle are you being serious or not because i love everyone and i'm accepting of everyone um that is my stance 
and people who aren't accepting of everyone, I don't really understand, and it's kind of weird. <laughs> That's if you were being serious, but if you were, um, I don't know. <laughs> like the like Nikki tutorials, I absolutely cried. I, I love her video. Oh yeah, no, 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 you're fine. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about me, you're fine. I, I love everyone. Um, I mean, except for, like, Nazis. I don't really like them, but... <laughs> Dude, the greatest example of people changing up their content and um, them being fine is, like, Jack's Films posted a video being like, hey, I, I just don't really like doing um, yais every day. And he was so nervous to post that, but everybody was like, dude, I get it. Like, do things that you want to do. Or Jenna Marbles changing her, you know, her stuff on, like, what she films. Like, she just wanted to, uh, you know, she just wanted to hang out with her dogs. Oh, am I going the wrong way? I think I am. We stand Nikki over here. <laughs> I absolutely love Nikki. Oh my god. I'm so happy for her. She is so great. Actually, I have I have this story. I'm not going to say their name because I don't know if they um I don't know if they're in that that place to uh talk about it or not. Um but I have this friend um and they were my friend for uh like not that long when this happened but like a year or so um at the time they were like you know they were identifying as something else and one day they were crying to me on the phone and they were crying so hard and I've never seen them cry like this hard before and I was really concerned at first, but then I was like, you know what? I think I know what's going on. Oh, shit. <gasps> shit. Okay, hold on. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yes! <laughs> Strats. <laughs> um, they were crying and crying, and they never talked to me about anything about being trans. But I just knew from the moment that they were crying on the phone with me, I was like, look, I know you're trans. Like, I know. Um, and it's okay. And we can navigate through this together. And, you know, like, I basically was just like, because they were so scared. They were like, dude, I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what the first step I should take. Like, what the fuck do I even do? I don't even know if I should go trans or not. Like, da, da, da. And I told them, like, you know, so many we could do so many things but people are just so scared and i think fear is what stops people all the time and if you're not comfortable with who you are right now then how are you ever going to be comfortable in the future you know so just transition like do it if you're thinking about it you're gonna do it no matter what whether it be a, right now or a year from now or whatever like just fucking do it and, right, fear of judgment or fear of harassment, which is very real and I totally understand, which is why I'm not saying who this person is because, you know, it's so scary being transgendered. Like, it's so scary. People are so hateful. Um, and it sucks. When... Honestly, at the end of the day, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the, them as a person. So why are you so involved, you know? Why are you so involved with who people love and shit? I don't know. It's just so weird. <laughs> people are so fucking weird. Um, okay, we did it. But yeah, basically, before my friend... Because my friend never talked about it with anyone, you know? And then before, I like feel like being the first person that 
my friend told about all this, all these feelings with. Because I've always looked at my friend as, you know, what gender they associate with. But I just was like, I was so honored to just know that my friend trusted me that much. And, you know, I didn't tell anyone and I still am not telling anyone because it's not my story to tell. Like how Nikki literally got blackmailed? Are you kidding me? That's not your story to tell. You shouldn't fucking sell that shit to the press. <sighs> like, people outing each other? Ugh, that's too much. I don't like that. You know, I didn't have a torch when I did this. I had to run back and forth finding wooden weapons. <laughs> yeah, dude, the torch is literally right by the door. <laughs> you know that, right? Anyways, but with the whole fear thing, all these YouTubers are so overworked and so burnt out. And they're so scared to change. And I totally understand because you don't want to go back to that time where you started at the bottom, you know? And I was so scared to start Twitch. And I probably would have started Twitch a year sooner if I wasn't so scared. And then I finally just stopped being scared. And did it, and now I'm like hella chill. Now I'm having fun. Um, but back to using the chickens as, as a weapon. As the enemy swings his weapon, just plonk one down in the way, and eventually the chicken will be pissed off. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my god, I have to try that. No fucking way. That's awesome. Social media is a double-edged weapon. It's true. Um, like, you know, it, it is fear-based, it is. And I think, you know, there's been this huge debate with cancel culture, um, and the I look at it as, oh, it's a great way for people to learn from their past and, you know, analyze and be like, you know, I'm so glad I'm not like that anymore and like whatever. But people take cancel culture like way too far where it becomes a hate train and it is, I'm sorry, it is so bright now. I'm just like beaming. <laughs> The gods are looking down on me. <laughs> but, um... I don't know. I feel like it's such a tricky subject. Um, if people learn from their mistakes and they're educated on it, then that's totally fine. It's because Ryan's here. I know. I'm looking to take you down. <laughs> You're like shining, you're like shining a flashlight outside my window. It did snow in my area. Let me see how much it snowed. Holy shit, it's like, it's so cold outside that it's like frozen. I can't even see outside the window. That's crazy. <laughs> this is my balcony, by the way. I feel like I need to like get away from from the light. Anything the light touches is yours. <laughs> um should I should I change positions? Like what would it look like if I went like this? <laughs> that looks so stupid. Never mind. I have like five pairs of pajama pants on right now because I, I'm so cold. It's literally like 25 degrees outside. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, cancel culture is weird. I feel like after the canceling has begun, people will always hate this person for that no matter what um and they can never like l it's like they can never learn from their mistakes i think it's great to 
you know, check people sometimes because people have really big egos on, especially on social media. But when it becomes this like, you know, death threat, da da da, you'll, you will forever be this person in my mind and you'll never change. It's just so weird. People change all the time, you know? And fighting hateful stuff with hate isn't really going to make anything change. It'll just make people not want to, like, see what you're trying to say. Um, you know. But also, it's different, because, like, when it comes to people actually committing a crime, then I'm like, okay, <laughs> go to jail, please. <laughs> Lots of character assassinations, no joke, some are out for blood. I know, dude. That's why it's so scary. It's so scary, dude. Like I I've thought a lot about um you know, the whole pro Jared situation cuz that was huge. That was humongous, especially for the gaming community. It was so crazy seeing all that go down. And I I just feel so bad. Nobody deserves to be leaked like that. And those leaks were definitely and like people were making up lies and it just was so mm. I think there's a Korok up here. But just the whole situation was so icky. Um, especially because... And now I can't really watch him or anyone associated with that drama without, like, getting an uncomfortable feeling. And so I feel like it kind of ruined it for me. But I just feel so bad. Yeah. It is a nightmare. And yeah, see, everyone's on Twitch now. Well, they've been on Twitch for a, a while. Um, but, you know, I, I can't really, like... Because I used to watch both of them all the time, and now I can't really, like, separate it in my mind. Um, and it just makes me feel kind of uncomfortable, and I can't really, um, I don't know. <laughs> this is, this is kind of, like, low-key super personal, but <laughs> even Ryan's gonna be on Twitch soon. This is gonna get super personal, but I have this, uh, I, I, I don't like, mm, I don't like knowing about people's, uh, sex stuff, you know? <laughs> um, it makes me really uncomfortable. Well, I, I don't think anybody likes knowing about that shit. Because it's, it's literally private. Um, that's why I feel so bad, because that shit... That shit should have been fucking dealt with privately. Um, Ryan is the titty streamer we all deserve. Hello, what's up? <laughs> We're talking about cancel culture and <laughs> the pro Jared situation. So if you're down to clown with that, come on in. Titty streamers are what we need, okay? They will unite the nations. We're talking about cancel culture and sex. I like it when people, like when new people come to my stream and it's always like, like, I'm either talking about, like, foot fetishes or something or whatever. <laughs> it's like they always come in at the worst time. Um, but, yeah. It's just some weird, weird shenanigans go on in this world, you know? 
You know what I mean, man? Ryan, are you going to be a gaming streamer? <laughs> the most weirdest of things. So strange. <laughs> um, putting those two things together. <laughs> what, what video games are you going to stream? Oh my god, can we have like a duel? Like a duel stream where like you're playing Mario Party and I'm playing Mario Party and we're like both streaming? <laughs> I love being a variety streamer. I don't get people who aren't a variety streamer, you know? At the end of the day, titty streamers are there to show us that we can just all get along and play games. <laughs> Games will unite us. <laughs> Hell yeah. How many times have you played Breath of the Wild? I've played Breath of the Wild... I've only beaten it once, officially. Um, I tried collecting all the Koroks um another time and then i stopped doing that because i was losing my goddamn mind this is a brand new game um so this is the third time not including like me trying to do uh like hard mode hard mode was too much i didn't like that <laughs> i know dude the there's way too many koroks i just kind of wanted to say like hey i got that golden shit you know <laughs> yeah master mode that one <laughs> well where are you gonna play ryan like league of legends <laughs> are there 999 seeds um i thought there was like a weird specific number like 763 or some shit <laughs> Oh, it's coming towards me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, that's way too much. I don't even know how how but I don't even know how many I have now. I've been playing League of Legends a lot a lot. I've only played League of Legends like once. My friend tried to introduce it to me. Who the fuck Who's that girl, that blonde girl in it, who's like, sunshine, who's that? Because everyone tried to make me main that girl. <laughs> I don't even know. I got the appeal of League of Legends, but it just wasn't my, wasn't my jam. Were you able to get all the shrines? Uh, yeah, I think I did. I don't actually remember. Um... There's like 73, 72 shrines, I think, right? I think I did on my first playthrough. Oh, oh, there's 120? Oh, shoot. Then probably not. I don't think I did. Um, I didn't do any DLC either. I was just... What happened was, once I got all the memories, I my heart started racing because I was like, oh, Ganon is just around the corner! <laughs> and then I just like... It was like, fuck it, and I just fought Ganon. <sighs> you know, I didn't take my time. I think I was just so excited, you know? And so I wanted my second playthrough to be me, like, taking my time and completing everything. And now I'm just, like, burnt out. <laughs> I can help with finding them shrines. Okay. Shrines? Shrines are kind of easy to find. Um, because, you know, now you got, like, the hero map, you know, like, where you've been. You can, like, you got the shrine sensor. Um, you know, it's pretty chill. Wow, my download speed is bad. BRB resetting my internet. Nobody be bad while the big bad mod is away. <laughs> We just all start, start talking about, like, penis size while you're gone. Um, oh, right. I'm getting wood. How much wood do I have? 
Okay, I need 30. This reminds me of Skyrim. Skyrim's another game I need to, like, one day just, like, buckle down and just beat the whole thing. You know? Most shrines you need to do a puzzle before getting in said shrine. I got Skyrim. Felt like a waste of money. <laughs> Didn't even make it. Oh. Yeah. Skyrim's one of those games where you have to like do something else too. It's same with Pokemon. So for me, when I play Pokemon, I watch like a stream or like a let's play and then play my game at the same time. Um, oh, I feel really bad. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> to the... Oh, shit. Okay. He just got yoinked out of existence. Um, well, also, Skyrim's combat is really, really boring. Um, and I think that's where a lot of people's interests, uh, depart, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, I don't know. But Skyrim's also fun, just, like, exploration-wise, because you feel like there's so much to explore. And it's kind of like... With Breath of the Wild, moving Link around is so fun, but, you know, all there is is Koroks, which Koroks are very important to upgrade your stuff, but also, you know, it's just not... I feel like the world is still very barren at times. Um, when Skyrim, it didn't really feel barren at all, but it, it got very repetitive. Um, I don't know. I hope they improve the combat in the new, uh, Elder Scrolls that's coming out. Hmm. Oh, wait, here we go. Shit. <laughs> hey, thanks for the host, Maverick. Are you a Logan Paul fan? <laughs> Maverick. <laughs> that name has totally been soiled since Logan Paul has been existing. What is Logan Paul doing nowadays? Does anyone know? Isn't he, like, a flat earther now? Like, that dude is wild. <laughs> He's got a lot of things on his to-do list over there. Okay, do I have enough wood yet? Okay, bye. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, they... Release the first or two Elder Scrolls, um, sorry, I don't know why I can't read that sentence, <laughs> Elder Scrolls for, uh, what's D-O-S, DOS? Oh, DOS, okay, who years ago as freeware, oh, I actually didn't know that. I've only known about um, Elder Scrolls 4 and 3, and that's it. Just let that ass die and fade into oblivion. <laughs> Skyrim has been, a been around for too long, um, and I think people 
need to chill with it and we need to stop getting re-releases of it because it's literally what else can you do to it it's literally fine like let's stop <laughs> let's uh make a new one which they're doing which is great okay now i need to go to a store um because i gotta sell some stuff <gasps> okay. Where's the general store? Oh, here it is. Okay. Give me, I keep hiccuping. It's got some fresh titty milk over here. Hmm. How come all of these characters look like me characters? Okay. Oh. oh. I feel like this game would be good to play off stream too. Like just to grind for money and stuff. I don't know. I'm just having so much fun with fantasy life. If you guys never, if you guys don't know like what game you want to play and you're like, hmm, like you know what console you want to play on, but you don't know what game. Like for me, I was like, I'd be okay with like a Nintendo game right now, you know? So I randomized all my Nintendo games I have and Fantasy Life, well, I mean like, you know, Nintendo console games. And then Fantasy Life came up and I was like, damn. Mm, I don't... <sighs> I feel like I should buy this equipment before I buy... Um... my house oh no I'm getting blinded again oh my god <laughs> ban everyone <laughs> Ryan oh my god you came back right when the light started blinding me again this is your fault <laughs> it's your fault Ryan is God. <laughs> it's so bright. Ryan, can you stop this, please? It is so bright. <laughs> Look at how white my fucking face is right now. Look at that. You can't even see texture on my face. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to see texture, but... DOS games are the shit. Hey. Eh? <laughs> okay, I think the sun's going away. Nope, JK, it's not. Ow! Uh, I mean, <laughs> there's no goddamn shades, right? It's all like dumb blinds, and they're all, they all don't work. This is aggressive. Look how aggressive this is. <laughs> Ryan, you light up my life. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I think it's going away now. Okay, that's a little more tolerable. <laughs> Ow, now my retinas hurt. <laughs> Oh no, it's coming back. Oh no. <laughs> Damn it. Camera room? Oh, did I not talk to her? Oops.
Mm. You should play Nancy Drew on your channel. That'll get you views. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, oh, I'm supposed to take a picture of her. Oops. Okay, let me go hella close to her face. Like, too close. Like, ew. <laughs> Is there a way that I can, like, hide from this obscene amount of light? Maybe I should wear a hat. I've never worn a hat before in my life. <laughs> Maybe I should wear sunglasses. Oh my god. I should play I should wear sunglasses. Oh yeah, we're supposed to play Civ soon, Kelly. Well, okay. Can we play it for the Switch? Because once I start, I'll probably do Monday, Wednesday at minimum. You don't want to be a full-time titty streamer? <laughs> Hold on. Let me fucking... Ow. We get, like, sunglasses or some shit. This is crazy. Whoop. Did I unplug anything? Okay, I think we're good. I got my, um, these are my boomer sunglasses. <laughs> Do I look stupid? <laughs> what I was gonna say was, <laughs> it's so bright. What I was gonna say is, the reason why I want to do it on the Switch is because I, um, I can't do it on my PC because I only have a laptop and that would make my computer shit itself if I tried to stream it with you. But if we weren't streaming, then it'd be okay. You know what? I gotta go on break. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, hold on. Let me go on break real fast. And then when I come back, we can play Breath of the Wild <laughs> some more. For just a little bit longer. Mm. Ooh. Okay. I know what to play on break. <laughs> I, wa I was the cat incarnated right there. Okay. I'll be back in like five minutes. Give me a sec. What up? What up, big pimps? What were we talking about while I was away? I wasn't just sitting over there. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Are we giving streaming advice? <laughs> Do you guys hear this right now? There's people yelling outside. They're like, the fuck you say to me? Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, um, oh, fucking, hmm. ignore the light, okay? Uh, I have a tendency to take ideas too far, don't listen to me. I think that'd be a better idea for, like, a video rather than a stream, good point. Wait, what were we talking about? I don't even know, I feel like they yell all the time. But yeah, that would definitely be, like, a cool YouTube video. I don't know. Ever since I... Oh my god, do you... <laughs> Hold on. This is getting quite ridiculous with this light. Hold on. One freaking second. <sighs> Never 
never squeezed my chair in here before. Okay. Ah. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a little better, right? A little bit better. Okay, we're good. It's a little bright still. You can see Phoebe in the back. We're good. <laughs> I know. I need to go fund me. Curtains for Kelly. Well, I don't think I can put holes in the wall for for this apartment. I honestly don't know. I think I could, but... See, because the sun rises over here and then it sets over in my window so it looks really pretty with the sunset but it is always like right here where my balcony is and then it goes over there slowly but surely um yeah honestly i feel like m my thing with twitch streaming is i feel like it's just a really chill place where you can kind of talk and play games that you want to play and whoever wants to come watch can do that too and then for YouTube videos I feel like they're more you know I feel like let's play let's playing is kind of stupid and I don't know why I did let's plays for two years but I did um, cuz you have no interaction it's 15 minutes or whatever how long you want to play it um, now there's a giant truck outside my window. What the fuck is going on? Do you hear how loud this is? What is, like, the FBI coming or some shit? <laughs> I love doing both. I love do uh, making YouTube videos is a lot of fun, but it's so much work that it's like, holy shit. You gotta take a deep breath and be like, damn, dude. That's a lot of fucking work. Like, it takes me so long to edit a video just because I'm so particular about everything, but I can go fast, too. Um... It's like this weird thing where it's t it takes a long time because it's monotonous, but it's also like, whatever. So that's why I like streaming because there's not that much editing with it. Like I just have to edit out breaks and edit an intro and whatever, fix the game audio sometimes and then whatever, we're fine. Let's Playing, it was the same thing, but like it, it was too short. Um, I made no progress series were too long and then with those big edited videos where you have to do research and stuff do people do that kind of stuff on twitch mm. i always feel bad for shooting bloopies oh. <laughs> do people talk about like game stuff on here. I guess they stream like game awards and stuff. My let's plays were great. I don't know, I always felt self-conscious because I always felt like I kind of... I, I felt this disconnect whenever I did let's plays. Um, I, I don't regret doing it because I actually really like uh, speaking. Um, I'm good at improv, um, but yeah, it just felt like a chore, um, and it was, it was like, you know, what's the point of this when I could be doing Twitch and I could actually interact with my audience, you know, um, and like get to know them and they get to know me a little bit better and I don't know, Let's Plays were great and now... Oh shoot, did I just leave the forest? Hold on, I'm gonna go to the fairy fountain in just, er, yeah, the fairy fountain in just a second. I just need to wander around now. Um, 
I mean, they're doing longer Let's Plays now. Like, I think 40 minutes is... I don't know. I I feel like everyone tries so hard to, like, get with the algorithm or whatever. And it's like, what's... Hold on, I need to fix my fucking camera. Okay. I still feel like you can't see my face. Um... It's like, what's the fucking point of following the algorithm if it's going to change all the time? And it's just, I don't know. It's like, who cares? I feel like now the, the algorithm for YouTube is longer videos, but still very consistent. Um, I don't even know. Like, what's even the point of the algorithm? <laughs> it's just so stupid. I feel like it's like this... This, like, weird... God that we must abide by and it's ever-changing all the time. I tried Let's Plays once. It was bad. It was fun, but bad. <laughs> I remember when you tried Let's Plays once. That's how you reached out to me and you were like... Um... You're like, I'm starting Let's Play soon. I was like, yeah, dude, I'll fucking subscribe. Let's go. And then I only saw one episode and I never went back. <laughs> That's why, dude, Ryan, if you just fucking Twitch streamed, I'm going to fucking watch that shit. Hell yeah. They're using it to build their AI. I have no proof. Well, that's true, because this platform is really big, and it's kind of impossible to have things be manually run. <laughs> so I guess the, algor the algorithm is good, but it's also, like... I don't know. I'm not... I'm not a... I'm not a tech... scientist. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I didn't tell you to go away. <laughs> you just were asking for my number and I was like, hey, I don't give my number to random people that I don't know that well. <laughs> and now you have my number, so. <laughs> so that's, you know, we went full circle with that. But you have my number as a friend. And that's great news. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I should be the voice actor for the, uh, the fairies. You were in it for the long haul, dude. You were like the, the gym in the situation. Like Jim and Pam. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Did I? I don't remember. I feel like I was just so pumped. I was like, oh my god, Ryan's here. He's waited all this time to be my friend. <laughs> Wait, what do I need to do to upgrade me? Did you ban me? No. I don't think I've ever banned anyone before. I think if you were banned, you wouldn't... Yeah, you're banned. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to, like, type in the chat. At least I think so. Oh, I need the cobbling guts. Hmm. I can do that. A talking ban, the worst kind. <laughs> Dude, wasn't there that girl that like was selling feet pics for like the Australia relief? donations and she raised like more than a million dollars and gave it all to the fucking Australia 
no one likes me. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're okay. It's just the first thing you said when you came in was like, oh, I got a big penis. Or I don't even know what you said. <laughs> I mean, you know, you don't really go up to someone on the street and you're like, hey, what's up? Wanna see my dick? And you're just like, no, not really. <laughs> Is there a Korok up here? Oh shit. Now someone's blasting rap music outside. Oh, Peach, this isn't a real suggestion. Um, Dog Island? Damn. Vinny played Dog Island, too. Dog Island is so strange. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Who, who made that game? Who made Dog Island? I need to talk to them. <laughs> and ask them what fucking drugs they were on. I'm looking for... Hmm. Do you guys think I should end the stream soon? I don't know. I don't really know what to do right now. Over here. That's not true. I said you made my dick hard. <laughs> I mean, okay, man. Whatever. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Just don't, you know, maybe write it down in your diary. Dear diary, today I, I found my favorite streamer. <laughs> I just finished working, so I'm fulfilled and appreciate your, what do you do? I, I noticed that you said something about, like, photoshopping. Is that what you do for a living? Hmm. I think I'm just pooped out from that, um, Dark Souls stream. I just don't really know what to do. Hmm, I could get, um... I run a digital marketing company. Wow. Dude, that's crazy. I went to um I went to school. I was trying to learn how to be a game art and designer and we did a bunch of like that stuff. I can't even imagine. That's so crazy, dude. It's a lot of hard work. Yeah, do you make stock images? <laughs> I must know. Are you the mastermind behind stock images? Oh, you know what? I could get this. This one is hard to get. I think I remember that. I kind of want to get the memories in order. It's kind of weird when they jump around. Um... Here, we can get a memory. Oh wait, first I need to talk to Empa. That's why I came here. Sup, Impa. Um, how do you get the, uh, the champion's tunic? Do you get that from the memories? I actually never remember how to get that. Uh, that was a good Dark Souls stream yesterday. You said you might play it again Friday. Seems like everyone loves that game. I know, it was really high energy. That stream was chaos, but I absolutely fucking loved it. Um, uh, 
now that I'm exposed, any of y'all writers looking for work, <laughs> go work for Big Daddy Blumpkin, the best business owner of all time. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to play it again um, Friday. It just depends. If it snows on Thursday, like if I have to cancel, because I have a haircut appointment at 1.30, on Thursday and then I also have to do um, practice so I do like flags um, I do color guard uh, I've been learning how to do color guard and it's been really fun and last a point the last rehearsal I couldn't do anything because I was like really dizzy from the doctor's appointment I had because um, we were doing some I did some hardcore procedures that I didn't like uh, so now I feel like, okay, now I have an actual chance to, um, actually learn the color guard routine. Um, anyways, that rehearsal is at, like, six. So I kind of have this little window of time where, like, I'm getting my hair cut. And then I have, like, an hour or two to myself. And then, so it just depends. So I might not stream Thursday, but Friday I'm going to stream Dark Souls for sure. Because that was like, that was the most hilarious thing in the world. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> um, I was getting stream sniped, by the way. That guy revealed himself. He sent me a message on, on PS4 or something. Uh... And I didn't respond because I was too tired. Dude, the fucking the light is back. And I tried to change where I was to ignore this light. But it keeps coming back. Baby, come. Baby, come. You want you want a treat? What's this? <gasps> What's this? Come here. All of your friends are like Dark Souls experts. Yeah, the one who I was on the phone with, Dakota, um, he's a major Dark Souls expert. Uh, he studies Dark Souls. He, for the past couple years, has been trying to convince me to play Dark Souls. So when I finally did, and I started to really appreciate the game, he was so excited, and so he did even more research on it to make sure that I'm doing the right things, that I don't get too frustrated. Because um, I told him, I was like, if I get too frustrated with Dark Souls, I can't play it. And he was like, don't worry, I'll be your guide. <laughs> um... But yeah, every time I play Dark Souls, there's always people that come watch, and then they just help me. And it's actually really cool. I really like the Dark Souls community so far. Um, everybody that has come has been very great. Guys, oh, I don't know if I should be doing this. Okay, you know what? Mm. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Captured memories. <sighs> I think I should just go. I think I should... I think I should just stop streaming for today. Because I'm getting a little tired. I can leave off looking at Lake Hylia, though. That'll be my thing. Okay. Sorry if the stream was like kind of boring. I <laughs> I don't know. Um I think I'm just really burnt out with Breath of the Wild right now. Cuz I I did want to play Breath of the Wild and put it on my channel and just have the gameplay for people who have never played Breath of the Wild before. Um but I think it was I don't know. I think maybe I should just play through the main game on stream and then maybe off stream I can just like explore and like chill, you know? 
I don't know. Anyways, I don't want it to be like Yakuza where I just stop playing it because I love this game, but I think it was too soon after I was playing my last playthrough. You know, and you kind of get burnt out a little bit. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go. But thank you for watching. The next time I stream, I'm going to play Dark Souls. I'm going to try to get, you know, a little further in this game. Like, try to get some Koroks here and there, whatever. No promises, though. Because I really like playing Fantasy Life. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Oh my god. I keep hiccuping. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice chill stream where we just like kind of talked about shit. I like I like it when we, uh, you know, when I stream and I just talk about stuff. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys when I stream next. Okay. Deuces. <laughs>